Hi guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I am sick. By the time I upload this, it will have been already like a few days since I posted, I think. So, sorry about that, but um, exams have been really crazy. I've been having to basically like study, work, exam, study, work, exam, study, work, exam. Um, so it's been kind of rough, like every spare second I have is like studying, so I haven't exactly been able to like film a lot or have time to edit because editing is what takes the longest time. But yeah, I am sick and I don't know if it's um, a result of weather or being stressed out or staying up late every day to study and like not really sleeping that much. Honestly, it's probably a combination of everything. But yeah, it's not fun at the moment. Honestly, I feel pretty okay. I just do feel like kind of tired. And it's just my voice that's like kind of messed up. But I'm okay for now. Um, I have like this big tea here. Hopefully to make me feel better. I hope you guys like my giant bow. And if you don't, too bad. Um, so first I'm going to do a little face mask. I have this um, peel off clay mask. Um... I've had this one for quite a while, honestly. I hope it's not. Oh no, it's still good. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna use this. I haven't done any sort of like skincare in so long. Like obviously I do my regular nightly skincare. Oh my god, I just peeled this off the top. <laughs> Ew. Um, anyways, obviously I do my like nightly, regular nightly skincare, like moisturizer and all that. But I haven't had like a proper day where I just like do all the things I need to do and like properly fix myself up you know girls know like you just have that day every once in a while where you like fix everything up you do your eyebrows you do like everything that you can or that you need to do just to make yourself look presentable I haven't had one of those days in like so long and honestly I was gonna prolong it until after I'm done exams but I feel like I just need this because it's it's been rough it's been a rough like two weeks and we're getting close to Christmas and I'm just I need this for myself right now I feel like I have like a million and one things to do and it is not it's not going well so this is what we're doing at the moment <laughs> just to make me feel a little bit better. Um, I think my exams have been going good so far. I'm just gonna give you guys like a little life update at the moment. Um, I feel like my exams have been going good so far. I did one that I think turned out really bad to be honest, like don't even know if I passed that. Um, the rest of them are really good. Like I feel like I definitely got like 90s. I don't know why it's that one freaking course that's like the mandatory course that I'm like, what's going on? What's going on here? I don't know. Um, so we'll see about that one, but hopefully it's not too bad. Um, I also started going to the gym, like, literally this week. And so far I have done a, it's like, it's kind of like a more bougie gym though. So I definitely feel right at home. Um, but yeah, so, so far this week I've tried a spin class, which never done before, and it was super fun, and I just felt really good about it afterwards, like, and even in the moment, I was like, I was like, wow, it feels so good to actually, like, do something active like this. And then I also did a hot yoga class yesterday, which was also my first time doing that. I've done a yoga class before, but I haven't done hot yoga, um... And by the end of it, I was literally, like, drenched in sweat. But the thing about hot yoga is, like, you don't feel, you don't feel like you're really sweating that much because you're focusing so much on your body and, like, what you're doing with it. Um, so, I don't know. It just, honestly, like, it felt so good and I really loved it. So, I think I'm going to probably do more yoga classes and the spin classes as well. And I do want to try Pilates. I just feel like this is the time, like, I don't know, I'm in my early 20s. I feel like it's time to like try something new and like figure out what I really like and I don't know like start new hobbies um so that's kind of what I'm up to for the rest of this year and next year um I just really am like want to do so many things um I want to like 
so I might want to try out that stuff that I'm doing at the moment. I want to, um, I might do like, honestly, like some sort of like skating lessons, like maybe like some sort of figure skating lessons, or, um, I really wanted to try ballet too. I don't know why I've never done ballet in my life, but like, it just looks really fun. This is my crazy looking skincare mask face, so it looks scary and like I had bad plastic surgery or something. Um, but anyways, this is such an odd color for a face mask, I feel like. And this is my fingernail. But yeah, um, what was I talking about? I don't know why all the time I'm like talking and I can never remember what I'm talking about something about like yoga anyways <laughs> oh I was saying I want to try like ballet I want to get back into playing piano um I used to do that a bit when I was younger and like during the pandemic I did it and then I just kind of stopped but <laughs> so I want to get back into that I do you guys may be getting some like possible singing videos on here I don't know that's something I also really want to try um that's another thing like singing lessons I've always loved singing um I just never really like got into it and then I feel like I really need to pursue like before the pandemic I really was pursuing modeling and then I just kind of stopped obviously because you couldn't like travel or do anything I feel like I really want to start pursuing that again because if not now then when obviously you can do things when you're older but you have got to do things like when you're young because you know you just it's just I just feel like it's just easier honestly um but yeah so I'm super excited about that I'm gonna wait for this to dry a little bit and then I will take it off and then we will continue with the rest of my little skincare this mask is pretty much dry I think I'm gonna give it a few more minutes but I did just want to um start on my eyebrows because I always do my own eyebrows I do not go anywhere to get them done because I just don't trust anywhere like I literally do everything myself I do my own nails my own eyebrows my own makeup hair cutting and styling like everything um I do not go anywhere for anything just because like I said I don't trust anybody and every time I have gone somewhere they don't give me what I want and what I ask for so and it's really expensive too so I just find it's better to do it myself because I'm not getting charged then for something I don't like and it's free to get something I do like so girl math I don't know if that counts as girl math but anyways I literally just use this little like spoolie brush um one of the little razors and tweezers and then I usually have little like nail scissors that I actually I don't use them for my nails I just use them for my eyebrows just to trim like this area um I actually don't know where they are and I cleaned my room yesterday so they should have popped up somewhere but they haven't so we'll see if I can find them but I'm just gonna start doing my eyebrows I don't think I'll be able to do all of this on camera just because um I have to go really close to the mirror when I do my eyebrows because it's hard for me did I get some in my eyebrow I did um I have to go really close to the mirror to do them just because it's hard for me to like see and get every little hair but Oh, yeah, it's still wet a little bit on this side. Um, but yeah, I'll do a bit on camera and then I will do the rest like off of camera. Like I said, just because it is really hard. Um, if you don't want to watch me do my eyebrows, just skip ahead because I don't know how long this is going to take. And honestly, um, I'm already doing it now. I'm not like talking as much because I am really focused on not grabbing the wrong hairs. Obviously, I've already took I know like a couple of hairs, but this is the before. Obviously, you can see there's like a hair under here, and like I need to shape this part a little bit. It's a little bit bushy, and same thing. There's like I need to clean up here and like over here, and then same thing. So yeah. Also, I think this is ready. It's like really. I don't really like clay masks because I don't like how they like pull your skin but the one thing I do like about them is that your skin does feel like really smooth after and you just feel really like refreshed I feel like I'm wearing a mask or something like that mm, okay. 
I feel like the cheeks are the worst part. Someone to remind me. Also, has anyone listened to Sabrina Carpenter's Christmas album, A Fruitcake? Because I have and I love it. And it's my current favorite at the moment. It's just so good. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. I really like the way that they turned out. Obviously, they look so much better. Um, no, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> I didn't do them yet. Um... Yeah, no, this is not my new eyebrow look, don't worry. But anyways, um, I just took the mask off. It left a couple marks just like here, just because I had to kind of like scratch it off. Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna actually do my eyebrows. Um, <laughs> they just look like this now because I look like I have Jack Frost eyebrows. I know this used to be a trend of like, what? Are, what is it, the soap brows? I don't know, I've never been into that though. I just, I just feel like, brows just how they are are fine <laughs> um but yeah I just brush them up like this when I am um, um tweezing them because you can see all the little all the little ones better that need to get got if that's a phrase uh and I don't know it just helps so I have a couple techniques I have for doing my eyebrows if you guys ever want like a full video on it let me know but I don't think me doing my eyebrows is that interesting to like actually film it or like do an entire video on it so yeah let me know but I highly doubt it I did find my little scissors these are the ones I was talking about that I use like the little nail scissors to just like define it a little bit so yeah okay i'm gonna go do this off camera because it'll be so much faster and easier for me and then i will come back and we'll finish our little skincare thing all right guys so i've just finished with my eyebrows oh let me <laughs> let me just brush that one better okay so i've just finished with my eyebrows this is what they look like finished they look and feel so much better so much less like bushy and messy um I don't know if I did this side like too thin I feel like they're okay but yeah what do you guys think um I personally am happy with them I don't know I feel like doing my eyebrows just makes my face look so much better maybe that's just me but I don't know I really think that your eyebrows like really affect the way that your face looks 100% I feel like my eyes look brighter I don't know maybe I'm exaggerating it but let me know if you guys think the same. So I'm almost done with my little beauty regimen thing. Um, but lastly, I just wanted to do a pore strip. I do the, I do pore strips like from time to time just to get any like residue of makeup or anything I have on my nose out of my pores. Um, so I have these really cute little um, pore strips. These are um, by the Creme Shop and they are deep cleansing um, clarifying pore strips and they have a really cute little like, strawberry cow on it and they're literally like little little oh my god why can't I talk little strawberry cow printed um they have little like yeah so I'm so excited to use these they are so cute I love the creme shops like products they're just so cute so I'm gonna go put this on my nose and then I'll see you guys in a minute all right guys so I've just put my little pore strip on look how cute it is it actually has the cow print on it and little strawberry i feel so cute um i know sometimes when you like they advertise things on packages and then you open it and you're like wait it doesn't even the product doesn't even actually have the design on it but they showed on the front but i'm happy that this one actually does it's so cute i find that the creme shop actually always like they do make cute stuff and what they advertise is what they actually have so i really love the creme shop this is totally not sponsored by the way i just I do really love the creme shop products but yeah so this is my little pore strip it matches my outfit which is really cute I'm just wearing these little actually I'll show you guys I'm just wearing these little pajamas from these are from white fox boutique I think but it's just a little long sleeve and a short set and I absolutely love these um it comes in so many different colors too I think I'm gonna place a white fox order soon actually because I really love white fox too so then maybe i'll do a little haul for you guys as well maybe like a new year's haul that would be fun um some new pieces for my wardrobe Ooh, okay video idea but i'm gonna peel it off 
this I feel like it's always so satisfying doing a pore strip and then you're like oh like it actually got all the good stuff out um yeah so I feel like my nose feels smooth but maybe it's just like residue I don't know <laughs> I always feel better after doing like pore strips and all my like face skin stuff so I'm just gonna add some moisturizer and I do have some like under eye cream that I'm gonna put on so I'll just do that uh oh my nose is a little red I hope it's from peeling off the thing and not an allergic reaction oh I should have showed you guys what eye cream I'm using okay um yeah so I just have this eye, eye cream it's the old I don't know how to pronounce this. Ole, Ole Henriksen. Ole Henriksen? Truth. Banana Bright Eye Cream. Um, this is the one I always use under my eyes. So I'm just using that. And then I'm just going to use my Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream Moisturizer. Um, this one is a little travel one that I got from like one of the birthday packages. I have the actual like big one. And I recently went on a trip so I brought this one with me I just put it I keep this as like a travel one so I can bring my moisturizer with me um so I'm just trying to use this up so I can like clean out the little tub again and then I will go back to using the big one and I love the big one because it has a little spoon on it but anyways um so I'm just going to finish putting this moisturizer on I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe i hope that you are enjoying the vlogmas so far um if you are or are not let me know and if you guys have anything specific that you want to see me do on on the channel in general or for vlogmas let me know about that as well and i can definitely see about doing that i am really having fun doing all of this but i am also losing motivation slightly I'm gonna keep doing it but I'm also like I'm burning myself out to be honest like pushing so hard with the vlogmas and like school and everything so I'm just waiting until school is done and then hopefully I can get back onto everything so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas bye <laughs>